citizens of Booth House. It is with a heavy heart that I must say that this will be my final address to you. I went into this fully intending to write a lengthy speech heavily plagiarizing Washington's farewell address, so that seemed to strike roughly the appropriate balance of historical reference into egomania that I have striven for throughout my presidential career. But it turns out the farewell address is 6,000 words long, so let's keep this a little bit shorter than that. Of all the times in my life, these last four years have been by far the most recent. I am privileged to have been able to spend them in Booth House with all of you, and I am honored that you have, albeit through little choice of your own, repeatedly seen fit to have me as your president. While these are not the circumstances under which I had anticipated the end of my time at East Chicago would play out, or the format that I might have chosen for this address, I am very proud of the degree to which our house has maintained itself and its culture under these conditions. I want to say for the record that Phoenix House has nearly collapsed, and although the years are trying times, the manifest superiority of Booth House has never been more evident. Thank you all for having allowed me to play some small part in developing this wonderful community. I will momentarily announce my successor as president and the rest of the election results. However, there is one part of Washington's farewell address that I do wish to remind you of this at this point his admonition against political factionalism. This is the first time in several years that Booth House has had a contested presidential election, and we have seen attempts by some to declare actual political parties. Please bear in mind that this is strictly unconstitutional. Booth House has only one legal political party, the Booth Bear Party, of which you are all members. Any attempt to turn Booth's unwavering devotion to the Constitution and the Sun Calf must be met with the scorn it deserves. The next president of Booth House will be Rahim Raja. Vice President, Sophia Delgado. Secretary, Courtney Lung. Treasurer, Nicola Lustig. Social Chair, Caroline Weber. Fundraising Chair, Katie Chin. Congratulations to all. I regret that there can be no formal investiture ceremony. The distribution of your sashes of office will occur at the next, next house meeting back on campus, whenever that may be. That is what I have to say. Praise the Suncalf, Breckenridge Delenda Est. May the force be with you. Booth House, best house. Daniel Eisenhower. Thanks for four years.